Hi everyone, I'm Miriam from the YouTube channel Variety Girl 1 and today I'm going to be doing another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So say you have a longer video like this video is almost 17 minutes long and you want to export just a little section of it to see how it looks outside the preview window or say maybe you're working on a feature length film and you just want to export one scene and share it with someone it's very easy to do that in adobe premiere while you could copy whatever footage it is into another sequence and export that i have an even easier way to do it so first you want to make sure you have whatever sequence you're going to export part of highlighted here and playing in the preview window here and then you're just going to choose a spot you want to start the video at. And then you see these two tools here, mark in and mark out. We're going to be using those. So here I'm just going to push mark in. And you see everything turns gray. And this gray area is the part that's going to be exported. Right now if I don't push mark out, it's going to export everything else in the sequence. And if I do mark out, I'm just going to scroll over a little bit and mark out. And now it's just this little section. We can zoom in here to see that better. And then if you don't see these two tools here, you can add them. And then this will show you all the different buttons and you could just put it in there. But I already have one, so I don't need that. And then you would just go to file and then you're just going to export. So then make sure in source range you have sequence in and out and not entire sequence and you see here we'll get that little section if we put entire sequence then we would get everything so you want to make sure you have sequence in and out and then i'll go over most of these other settings in a separate video about exporting but basically you're just going to push export after you check all these other settings here so let's not get into that because that's a whole separate video just make sure you have sequence in and out there and then later, if you want to export your whole video, you're going to want to get rid of this. My first instinct when I was working in Premiere was to lengthen it so that it included the whole video. So you would just pull on the sides here. And then we have our whole clip highlighted. But the problem with this is, say I delete something from the end here. So say I delete this clip. So you see how the length of the video does not change if I delete something? So that's not really useful because then if I delete something, we have this empty space right here that's part of our sequence now, or at least part of the in and out. So to get rid of the in and out, it's very easy, but it's something that I found by accident and I'd been searching for it for a while, but it's actually very easy to do. We're just going to right click and then you can either clear just the out or you can clear the in and out at the same time. And then now we just have a regular sequence, and if I delete this clip, you'd see the length changes. When I was making my How to Draw a Semi-Realistic Face video, which was the project you were just looking at, I actually did export a small portion of it to test out the speed the video was playing at because it was playing 500 times faster at points, and I wanted to make sure that wasn't too fast. So you see I have like this free minute clip so this took about maybe a half hour to export versus when I did the whole thing it took me two hours so it was much better to export just a tiny clip because when I was doing it in the preview it was very hard to tell if it was going to blur or anything at that speed it was much easier to tell after I exported that it was okay so that's how you would export just part of your video and of course if you wanted to export the whole thing you can just go to file export and I'll go over the rest of the settings in another video. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel Variety Girl 1. I make new videos every Monday and these Adobe Premiere tutorials will be coming out every other Monday. And you can find a link to the playlist down below or you can click the card. Thank you for watching.